Good morning, everyone. So it's been a crazy morning and it was a crazy night. Um, here's Eva Grace. Uh, our kitchen is a disaster because we had a mouse or we have mice question mark um so it's kind of a long story but it all happened yesterday the pet um pe pest inspector is coming right now so i can't really um share too much but after he leaves i will update you guys so stay tuned for a very interesting story okay so pest control just came and oh, man it has been the past few days been crazy and stressful and it's not over yet even though pest control came there's so much to it but anyways i wanted to um kind of give you guys a backstory because i um share this on instagram but it, i know everyone doesn't follow me on instagram and so a uh, backstory um yesterday i was um cooking breakfast and i looked over and i noticed there was a pellet and i was like that's interesting, that looks like a pellet, uh, like a mouse pellet or something. And I'll tell you why I know that in a second. Um, and I was like, that's weird. And so I sent the picture to Connor and I was like, doesn't this look like a mouse pellet? And then I look over and there's another one, a longer one up on a place that wouldn't be, like it wouldn't be there. Um, and so I was like, oh no. And it was like that TikTok thing of like, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> it was like that. Um, that's how I felt. That's what played in my head. This is gonna be, that's what played in my head whenever um, I found that second pellet. And hold on, Missy Missy. So then once I realized that we most likely had a mouse, um, I started sharing this story on my stories um, about a time whenever I was in college. So whenever I was in college, I lived in a two-story duplex and lived on the second floor. And I had recently switched rooms with one of my roommates. And uh, we, I go in there and I guess like the mouse just somehow came in through like a crack in the wall or something. I have no idea. Um, but every single night I heard like do 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 on the wall or it sounded like it was in the wall and it was so terrifying like every single night before I would go to sleep it would be like doo -doo -doo -doo, and I would wake up and be like what was that <laughs> and it was just like so scary and then I realized like it has to be a mouse because I had to figure out if it was in my dresser and so I took my clothes out and I saw them and so the mouse had been like in my clothes and it gets worse <laughs> um so okay so after like one of two one or two days of the mouse like scattering through the wall um i finally decided to investigate and that was probably like the third day um realizing it was a mouse and then i got so scared that i was like roommate i have to sleep with you tonight because i can't sleep in my own room so i slept in her bed with her because i was so terrified so i sleep in her room and maybe that was one or two nights and then i was like maybe the mouse just like magically disappeared so i go back to my room and i get mouse traps and um i had like the sticky ones because i didn't want the traps and like a, a dead mouse to be in my room so i put the traps everywhere the sticky things go to sleep and i wake up in the morning i don't have contacts on i wear glasses and i can't okay sorry my video was failing to upload and then i had a meeting and sorry I didn't finish the story okay so wake up don't have glasses on or don't have contacts on only have glasses and i wake up because i hear a high-pitched squealing noise and it just continues squeal 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 and i look over and i'm like trying to see and i see this like moving thing and i'm like what the heck so i get my glasses and i put them on and the mouse the mouse's tail or one of the feet or whatever is like stuck to the pad and the rest of his body is draped over my backpack and it's like entangled and can't move and i'm like <gasps> no this isn't happening and it was the most disgusting thing i had ever seen in my life i was like huh? <laughs> and so it was like draped over and you could see all the pads were like moved because it was like like getting out of all of them and it just happened to get stuck in my backpack i couldn't do it i had to call my roommate to get it out of my room so i feel like if it was dead and it was like trapped or something then maybe like it would still be disgusting and scary but the fact that it was moving and trapped and entangled in my backpack i was like 
<laughs> just so gross it traumatized me and now anytime i think of a mouse or anything i think about that and how i was just like terrified for my life and they aren't that scary i know but you guys know i'm a chicken and i don't even like spiders and i just can't i can't with creatures they just are freaky they're so freaky the one thing that i just remembered that i had forgot was that i was so terrified of the mouse and like the process of catching the mouse that i lined my bed with mouse pads because i was like there ain't no way this mouse is coming up in this bed um and i was like it was even just the fact that i was about to catch it was i i just keep shuddering at the fact and at the thought but anyways i lined my bed because i was like there ain't no way this mouse is getting in my bed tonight um and yeah it was just crazy so so we all have those mouse stories where they like traumatize us forever and then we're like i know what a mouse pellet looks like or i know what a rat pellet looks like i have never encountered a rat but i think i would literally die if that ever happened like i would just die um because mice are creepy but they're not rats anyways i don't even want to think about that um you want more egg she's so quick at eating her eggs you're so quick at eating your eggs so, all of that happened, um, and yeah. and yesterday, <laughs> and yesterday Connor and Eva went to Home Depot to get some mouse traps. And he actually like sometimes I underestimate. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I underestimate how <laughs> an amazing how amazing Connor is of uh, is of a dad. Like he's amazing, but you know sometimes you forget that in like the daily life to life things um but he was like he was telling me how he went to home depot and he was like we had an adventure she, we went to the carpet aisle and she was touching the carpet and then i took her to the uh text grass or whatever bait grass aisle um and she was touching the grass and then i was like walking with her everywhere and i was like wow this sounds so fun um me i would be like let's get in and out we can play at home so that i can have like little interaction with people as possible and mostly because and not like with COVID or anything because honestly that doesn't like frighten me but um with like people looking at us and me being a woman and like all those things I'm like let's just get in and out and we'll play at home um so I'm glad that he was able to go there with her anyways that was a total sidetrack um so he went to go get mouse traps. we took all of our uh food out of the cabinet except for a few Okay, I just tried to investigate. <laughs> I'm gonna cry, you guys. I'm literally so scared. This is more scary than the spider incident, okay? This is like 10 times more terrifying. Um, okay, so I was like, let me investigate. Let me see what I can find because I don't know why I do that. Why do I try to investigate creatures when I'm just, uh, uh, I don't know why. It was just, I was curious. So I was like, okay, let me open all the cabinets. I'm, just, I'm getting chills right now opening all the cabinets and I open one cabinet and I take out something and I see like little like flakes or something and I was like what the heck so I take out the thing I see more flakes and then I turn and there's a bar that's been eaten into like the wrapping is gone and I immediately like jumped back and was like it's in here it's in here somewhere it's in here somewhere oh my gosh so now it's becoming real and my heart is beating so fast I have a question for you how dare you they were able to crack open the sunflowers every sunflower seed is open why is it always this cabinet if you guys remember we had those uh what are they called warsel wa something with a w those bugs in our breadcrumb this is I, it's literally amazing and it like i'm not even upset this i mean bit into this and literally every was able to crack open the sunflower seeds and eat them that's amazing. I, it's it's hard for humans to do that with their own teeth. I'm not amazed. I mean? I'm disgusted. And that is amazing. So that the mouse could still be lured if it got that far, but Connor found the hole that it's that the mat he thinks the mice are coming out of, which he was pretty correct. Um, let me open it for you guys. I don't know if you can see that, uh, there's a hole right there. There's like multiple holes. Actually, the pest person just covered it, so there's probably not a hole there anymore. Um, but there was a hole in there, and that leads up to our attic. And um, he was like, that's probably where they're coming from. 
So he put a mouse, two mouse, tra mouse traps there, one, two on another side, two on the other side, and then two within our cabinet. And this morning, there was a dead mouse in our cabinet. And for me, I was like, ugh, disgusting. Like, that is so disgusting. And he was like, bingo, baby, caught it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, what? Uh, this is the difference in our like personalities of creatures. I feel like guys are just so like, woohoo, found my mouse or whatever. And I'm like, ew, gross. Oh my gosh. That looks huge. Don't hold it with your hand. Are you touching it with your hand? No. It looks like it. Yes, you are. The mouse trap. Oh, okay. What is wrong with you? <laughs> You're a psycho. Well, think about a rat. Would you rather a rat or this tiny, cute mouse? Just a tiny mouse is fine, not cute. Um, so, we did catch one, but he thinks there's more, and so does the pest control guy, because when there's one, there's probably more. Um, and he saw that there was another trap that the like peanut butter was eaten off of which the other one was already dead So there's probably a second one that just like ate it and left um, <laughs> So <laughs> So anyway, so then the pesticide Am I talking about Dada? Oh, another kissy. You have food on your mouth, so we can't be kissy kissy right now, but I'll give you your egg. So then the... Do you have avocado still? Yeah. So then the pest control guy came and he like looked up all the stuff. He filled more. Oh, more. Can you say more? Yeah, you were saying more, silly. You have more. You have more. More. Um, so then he came, he patched up the holes that he thought it was possibly in. He put traps in um, all the areas and like the attic. He didn't use um, whatever it's called, uh, spray. Um, obviously, because baby and dog. He didn't see a lot of signs of like a ton of mice, which is good. Um, but he gave us some really good advice. He said, he walked around the perimeter of our house and it doesn't look like there's any entryway. The only entryway that's possible is our tree right beside our house that we just built our deck, if you guys remember, which I don't think we've ever shown on YouTube, actually. Uh, so you may not know unless you follow me on Instagram. Um, so just follow me on Instagram because <laughs> that's where I post everything. Um, so we built a deck and that deck is right beside our tree which makes our house closer to the tree and i was telling him all this and he was like it's probably closer and so they have a better access point to your house and then up to your attic and i was like oh my gosh so he was like you have to probably cut back your tree two to four feet um so i was like i would have never known that that is such a good point like when you build onto your house you don't think about these nature things uh which you totally should um so that's probably what the the entry point is so we're just gonna like work on that too now um getting that removed and hopefully that will clear up the situation but we did do a yearly plan with this pest control just to like make sure that um the mice are gone and in the summer we actually get moles um and so keeping our pests under control anyways is going to be helpful for the moles so um anyways that's what i've been dealing with today it's disgusting there's still rat or i keep saying rat not rat uh, mouse droplets in the cabinet and so i need to like go through and just like clean and disinfect and all the things because that's disgusto like seriously disgusto sometimes i'm like annoyed at nature and i'm like why do you have to come up in this house but then i also like have the like sad soft yeah. mindset heart yeah. and i'm like this was their land yeah. first <laughs> i'm trying to be sentimental over here eva grace this was their land first and i well i technically didn't but we built on top of it americans humans built on top of it yeah. <laughs> so yeah i'm like 
I feel bad for them, but also I'm like, don't come up in this house. This is my house. This is my house. This is my land. This is my turf. This is my wood, my carpet. <laughs> He's a mama silly. Um, so anyways, uh, we're gonna go hang out with a friend today later on after she eats breakfast. Um, oh, she's gonna go to sleep in like 30 minutes, so she'll probably hop off for now, but yeah, that's what I'm dealing with today. Thanks for listening. Okay, maybe I can do this sneakily. <laughs> Ooh, looking at my Walgreens app. Um, okay, so on, um, so we had mice, told you guys that. Well, on Wednesday, um, <laughs> why don't we have breakfast, huh? Let's have breakfast. Nom, 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 nom. All right, here we go. A little update for you guys. Okay, so two Wednesdays ago, uh, or maybe three Wednesdays ago. When was that now? I can't even remember. Um, we found, I found mouse droppings called the mouse inspector or whatever. They came. Um, I think I told you guys all this. He told us to like cut our tree because that would probably be the issue, which I actually still need to do. The issue seemed gone, but I was like still finding like pellets around our, like this side of our kitchen. It wasn't on like any of this side. Um, which was good, but I was finding some and I was like just getting so grossed out because I was like, oh my gosh This mouse has been like throughout like part of our kitchen and that's just so gross So I just me and Connor just like did a deep clean. So we did more deep cleaning this past weekend um, But we're still having like a clean some cleaning people come and clean a little bit more since we weren't able to get everything um, with Eva like, you know, always wanting to play and stuff, which is fine. Uh, so, so yeah, so that was, that was a few weeks ago. Um, and so we kind of like try to do as much as we can. And then two weeks ago, um, on Wednesday, another, the, another inspector came just to make sure that all the traps that the previous one had put, like made sure that there were no, um, mice caught or just like all this stuff. So they came, they found one in our crawl space uh and i don't even know like i guess i don't even know what the purpose of the crawl space is actually like i guess it's just like ventilation from inside to outside i don't know if you're a guy watching this you probably know more than me or maybe if you're a woman <laughs> but i have no idea i think connor's told me before but i still don't remember the purpose of a crawl space <clears throat> or maybe it's to get to like underneath the house i think that's the purpose but i don't know why you would need that anyways um, more blackberries. <laughs> um, so anyways, they found one in the trap of our crawl space, um, but didn't find any others anywhere else, which is really good. So that was good. And then the guy said that, so they put some bait outside of our house that's basically like if they eat it, it's poisonous. They go off and die somewhere else. And all the bait that they had put beside our house was like completely gone and eaten. So he was like, that's actually good because that means that the mice that are coming to your house are going off and dying um, and not dying inside of your house. So I was like, okay, well that's really good, I guess. <laughs> um, and he said he put a new one there. So if any other mice came, they would die. Um, and then I don't know if I got told you guys this yet, but I found a ton of mice poop in my car. So I was going with my friend, I was going to the park with my friend, meet her there, and Eva is in her car seat, and I pull the stroller out, and there's like tons of mice, mouse poop droppings in her uh, stroller. Um, uh, did I say car seat? Not in her car seat, in her stroller. Um, and I had to like wipe it down like really good before I put her in. Um, and because like I couldn't just carry her I had to put her in and so I was like covering her entire body to make sure she didn't touch anything and I was like trying to sanitize as best as possible and it was just so gross and I was like wiping and then um when we got home I like I don't even know if you're supposed to do this but I Clorox the stroller and then the next day I went back to check like the inside of the car and there had been a few in her car seat um and I noticed that there was a hole um at the top of the car where like the latch system i think is um or like those anchors one of them was open so that there was a hole from the trunk to the inside of our car 
And I was like, no. <laughs> and so I uh, like cleaned all in it with like Clorox, even though I probably wasn't supposed to with Clorox. I was like, I just know that this is gonna work. It's gonna bleach and it's gonna get rid of this gross stuff. Um, so if anyone has any recommendations on how to actually clean all this stuff, um, and, uh, I still need to take out her, like, car seat to put in the washer. But yeah, I, like, just Clorox everything and, like, wiped it down and, uh, yeah, it was just, like, so gross. But I haven't seen any since then, which is good because I feel like they're just, like, dying and it's getting warmer outside, so, um, so they probably don't need, like, to come in for warmth or anything like that. So uh, another one came l this last Wednesday to check all of the traps. There was no mice, which is good. So yeah, it's just like so gross. And <laughs> the fact that they were in my car, like it traumatizes me. So the fact that like, are they hiding in here right now? Where are they at? Are you here, little mousy mouse? <laughs> Please don't be. <laughs> um, but they just like, every time I got in the car, it seemed like they weren't there. So I'm assuming they just came in for nighttime and then left. Um, but yeah, it was just so gross. So that's our mouse story. Um, I'm glad that it's hopefully over. I want it to be over, but we have so many traps everywhere. Um, but this is the first year in Washington we've ever dealt with mice. And supposedly from what the last guy said, he was like, um, mice are the worst in west western washington than anywhere in the united states which is weird because in texas like my mom always talks about the fact that she has mice yes oh no you can't have this missy but do you want some water you want some water um she always talks about how they have mice in their attic or even like rats i think where is your water so anyways, yeah, that was my mouse story. Hope you enjoyed it. It was gross. Hope you don't have any mice ever, ever, ever. But if you do, please let me know what your story is in the comments because I've heard some and they're absolutely insane. Like, they're absolutely insane. So please let me know so I'm not the only one. Uh, anyways, see you guys later. Bye.